Uh, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step chef. In this exciting episode filmed at Cumberland Falls, Kentucky, we are going to make an absolutely delicious mushroom, onion, and garlic burger. It's very easy to make, whether you're at home or on the road. So come on, let's cook. And here are the ingredients for our camping version of sautéed onions and mushrooms. It's a little bit gamier, a little bit more outdoorsy than the original version that I did on Step by Step Chef that's in the cookbook. Ding! Over 175 recipes in that cookbook, the original. Um, I have 16 ounces, one pound of mushrooms. I have two-thirds of a sweet onion. I use the other third on another recipe. That's the way we hang when we're camping. I have two garlic cloves, which basically, honestly, that's three. Those are really big. I have a very interesting looking two tablespoons of butter. That's camping butter. That's what butter looks like after you've been camping. We are going to use two teaspoons of soy sauce, and we'll use about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Let me show you how to put all this together. So the first thing we're going to do is just sliver our onion. It's a very rough cut. I try to keep to the rough cuts when we're camping. It gives us more of that campy feel. And um, you can add more or less of any of these ingredients. If you want to just try it the first time, make it with just an eight ounce package of mushrooms and you know cut all of the ingredients in half. That way you'll get to taste it, you'll fall in love with it, and the next time you'll triple the recipe. So I'm just taking the onion, I sliced it in half, and now I'm just slicing it into these quarters, and I'm going to sliver it. So to sliver it, we're just cutting it like this. That's about quarter inch thick slivers of onion. And these onions, I love sweet onion because it makes it real sweet, but if you can only get yellow, white, or red onion, that's perfect too. It's gonna come out delicious no matter what. I mean, it's a foolproof recipe, I can make it, see? And here we go, we're just doing this next piece. Again, slivers. I make them a little hearty because, again, we're camping, and I'm probably gonna have these on hamburgers to start. And then I'll probably have some left and just have it as a vegetable. And then there'll probably be some more left and I'll have it on chicken. You just never know. But this um, mushroom onion mix is much appreciated by people on the road. So make as much as you want. So now I'm going to slice this other onion, and I'm not going to bore you. Okay, so you can see the onion is all in our plate. And next up is the garlic. So of course we take off the skin. If you don't like garlic, don't use it. This will still come out very tasty without garlic. It just amazes me some people don't like garlic. I just, I mean, I would honestly swim in it every day. If there was a gym nearby, I would go over that had a garlic filled pool, I would swim with it. I know, well, maybe that's why I'm camping alone. <laughs> but garlic aficionados, I don't know, we're, we're a certain breed and ah. Uh, and I have some garlic recipes on stepbystepchef.com that are absolute killer. And there's one there, it is um, garlic and parsley mixed up with a little vinegar and salt. You eat that, oh. Um, don't do any socializing for two days, but want to know something, it's worth it. Just put a do not disturb, I ate garlic sign out. I think you'll like it. Now, if you have a garlic crusher, crush it. We're just gonna mince this garlic. So I'm just gonna cut it lengthwise. And then just cut, cut it from the ends, as tiny as you want. This is gonna cook down with the um, onions and mushrooms anyways. And honestly, the little chunks of garlic, they're a bonus to garlic lovers. Now, people who don't like garlic are probably gonna go, whoa, what was that? And then you just um, slip them a piece of gum and you say, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the next one. And I am literally out in a campground. I am camping. I've been on the road for quite a few days and it's gonna be quite a few weeks by the time I'm done with this series. And I'm really enjoying it. So right now I am up in Kentucky, and uh, tomorrow I'm heading west. And we'll see where we end up. You'll know because there'll be another recipe from wherever that site is. Let's give it a little mince. It's not that, again, it's a rough cut. We're camping. 
We're camping, we're allowed rough cuts. Mmm, wow, that garlic already smells good. Oh, and I saw a bear run in the other direction. <laughs> That's another plus of garlic. Even the mosquitoes have not been bothering me. I don't, is it my diet? I don't know. I've kept reasonably clean, despite my hiking. And I'm actually in a campground that has showers, so it's not like I've gone without. But um, <laughs> I think it's the garlic. Okay, and now these mushrooms have been rinsed off and we are just gonna slice these. We're not gonna do anything more than this. These are about um, eighth to quarter inch thick slices. I don't want these to disappear. That's why I'm not worried about, you know, mincing them down or anything like that or, or dicing them. They've been rinsed off and we're just gonna give them a cut like this. I'm sure you don't wanna watch me do this whole container, but this gives you the idea. I'll be right back. And look, through the magic, through the magic of cinematography, the mushrooms are all chopped up. Let me you over at the stove. And here we are over at the old stove. I'm gonna tell you, please read the instructions on how to operate your propane stove. The general thing is turn the gas on. When you hear the hiss, light it. Light it with your match or your fire starter. The flame is usually invisible. Don't put your hand down near it. You can feel up there. Yep, that's lit. Also, if gas builds up, don't light it. Let the gas dissipate, then light it. And if it won't light at all, stop, because there may be something wrong with your stove. So here is our pot, all ready for the mushrooms and onions and rest of the mix. We're gonna drop our, and again, um, the, stove, the stove is set on medium heat. There's our glob of butter, globo butter, that's camping butter. That's, a, that's actually a measure when you're camping, globo. And I'm just coating the bottom of the pan using my spork. <laughs> uh, some of the words we use camping. Spork. You got your fork on one end, your spoon on the other. So it is a spork. Just reminds me of Star Trek. Spork, come here, quick. And it did. Here we are melting butter out in the woods. Um, the butter is a little tacky. It's kind of warm out today. Now, here's our mushrooms and onions. Clearly they cannot all fit in there all at once. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of it, start cooking it down, and then I'll just slowly add some of the additional ingredients. And these mushrooms will cook down too. They're gonna get a nice, brownish golden color mm. and the onions will get translucent and this will be one tasty saute and it will go so well on your hamburgers your steak your chicken or just as a standalone just as a side dish i've had people on step-by-step -step chef tell me that their friends really enjoyed it they brought it because i do have a version of this not as woodsy um, on step-by-step -step chef and they said they brought this to a party and their friends loved it. I forgot to put my arms out. There we go. This is camping cookware. So there's our handle. And now we're just gonna saute. It's gonna cook in this butter. You can add more butter. You can use less butter. You can leave the butter out and use olive oil if you like. I've heard all kinds of suggestions, but for some reason, because of the um, earthiness of this dish and tastiness, uh, it has been quite popular on Step by Step Chef. But this again is the um, camping version. So I'm adding garlic and the soy sauce and the pepper, which is a little bit different. I just love things a little bit more savory when I'm camping. So I'm gonna start cooking this down and I'll check in with you in about five minutes. Okay, so five minutes later over medium heat, the mushrooms are starting to turn brownish and the uh, golden brown and the onions are starting just starting to st to turn translucent so let's add more of our mix this has our garlic in it and we'll just keep stirring it this is over just above medium heat and we're just going to keep stirring it occasionally and uh you know see where we end up which i think is going to be deliciousville <laughs> okay I, I think i'm too happy a camper today 
But this is what we're going to do. And I will see you in another five minutes. And um, just to tell you, if there's nothing happening with your pan, turn the heat up a little bit. And if there's too much happening, if you're starting to get burning on the bottom of the pan, turn it down a little bit. Gas stoves are notorious. It's very hard to, uh, camping gas stoves are notorious. It's very hard to calibrate the temperature. So you do have to adjust it occasionally. So there we go. I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, now you can see the onions and the mushrooms are really cooking down. And I can smell the garlic. Oh boy, can I smell the garlic. Yum! This is backwoods sautéed mushrooms and onions. Now I'm adding our black pepper. Yum. Add more or less. Do it according to taste. Just remember, if you add too much, you can't take it out. So do it gradually. And then we're going to add our splash of soy sauce. Don't go overboard on that. We're not making um, a Chinese stir fry. We just want it for a little gamey flavor. Oh boy, does this smell good. And now just stir it all in. There's going to be a lot of people when you make this who stop by your campsite and they introduce themselves, but they're actually after this. So be wary. It's not just the bears who are going to be after your meal. So I think that we'll just keep sauteing for about five more minutes and you'll see. You'll see what deliciousness we have created. Mm. So I'll be right back. And five minutes later, here we are. Look at how that cooked down. Isn't that nice? That's what we want. Now, here's a couple of ideas for you. If you don't like it liquidy, and there was some liquid in here, you can just pour that off. Or, here's one you might like even better. Eat it, or even better than that, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Even better than that is if you have a little bit of cornstarch with you, like um, two, I would say, uh, let's start with a tablespoon or two of cornstarch. If you stir that in while it's still simmering, it will make a sauce. You'll end up with a mushroom sauce and it will make a great, you know, standalone dish or something you can throw on rice. That's totally up to you. Since I'm camping, I need this as a versatile dish, so I'm not doing that. I'm going to put some of this on a hamburger, as you've heard. So this is all done. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm. And I wish you could smell it. The aromas are so rich and so earthy. It's perfect for camping. Okay, now we already made our mushroom and onion mix. So here is our burger. This is how we make our burger. And to make a crispy burger, we're going to use one tablespoon of butter to cook these two burgers. And we'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't want to add any more spice than that because we already have the mushroom, onion, and garlic at the ready. And I also have some buns at the ready too. So um, even though you can just have, have it without the buns, that's totally up to you. If you don't like buns, then don't bun it up. Just do it your way. But I'm going to meet you over at the stove. Okay, some quick words on safety. Read the instructions with your propane stove. I'm assuming that nobody's binge watching cooking and camping with the step-by-step -step chef, although I dare you to do it. Um, you just need to read the instructions so if there's any problem with it, if it's malfunctioning, you don't get hurt. If the gas builds up and you can't get it lit, stop trying to light it, stop using your matches and your lighter. Let the gas blow off. When you don't smell gas, try it again. If it doesn't work, if it never works, there's something wrong with your stove. So be careful with that. The other thing is, if you're dealing with meat, even though we're camping, even though it's fun, even though we're outdoors, that means even more than ever, in the warm days, we have to be careful. So make sure not to let hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, whatever you're eating, don't let it sit out too long. Keep it moving. Like I took two of these burgers out of a pound and then I put the other half a pound back in the uh, cooler because that way it will be safe for the next dish I'm going to make. So stay on top of this. If the meat's supposed to be cool, keep it cool, man. That's all I ask. The other thing is, and this is actually kind of fun, is buy the best burger you can afford at the time. This is um, sirloin hamburger, which I prefer. I would rather wait two weeks without hamburger and have this sirloin version 
than eat a kind of hamburger that is all knuckly and chewy. It's just me. I mean, I mean, certainly kids don't care and a lot of other people don't care, but if you want it to taste good, just buy the best hamburger you can afford at the time. It's still going to be cheaper than when you buy those meals at um, fast food restaurants, believe it or not. So let's get going. Um, I'm done giving a speech. So we turn on our gas. I hear the telltale hiss. Boom, it's lit. Again, the uh, propane flame is invisible. Oh yeah, I can feel it. It's lit. But put your hand up here. Don't put your hand near the flame. Otherwise, you're gonna end up, um, you know, serving your ham and uh, hand and skipping the hamburgers. So I'm gonna put my uh, my pan here. It's over medium heat. Again, it's hard to calibrate with a propane stove. So sometimes you have to turn it up. Sometimes you have to turn it down, depending on what speed it's going at. Um, one other point of business. Here's our butter. See, it was fun business. So I'm just going to add our butter to our preheated pan. And this butter is a little melty. It's a little tacky. But this is the secret to a crispy burger. I got a lot more than I intended. Just coat the pan liberally, even if you're a conservative, liberally with butter. And then take out the excess. And then take your burgers and throw them on in there. Look at a nice sizzle going. I'm going to go rinse my fingers off. I have soap and water at the ready. I'm going to salt this side. Don't go overboard because you can't take salt off. You can add more at the table if you need to. And what we're going to do is kind of move them around occasionally, but I'm waiting until the juices flow to the top here, and then I'll flip the burger. And that will take about five minutes. Okay, so five minutes in, I am seeing some of the juices running on the top. And I have been moving the burgers like this so they don't just stick in one spot. So we're just going to flip it. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see where that crispiness comes from. That's your friend butter. And mine. And I want to salt and pepper this side too. There we go. And I'm going to give it five minutes on this side. And if you like it um, medium rare, it should be done after that second five minutes. If you like it well, you'll want to flip it again and give it three to five minutes. And then it should be cooked through to your well done content. Okay, now the juices are starting to run to the top of these burgers and it's running clear. What that means is it's done. Now, since you, you hung in there this long, with old step-by-step, step, I'm going to give you a tip to the juiciest hamburgers. Here's what it is. Don't do this. Everyone does this at the grill. They press down. Do not press down. What happens when you press down? You pump all the juices out of it so it dries up the hamburger. So flatten the burger when you shape it. Put it in the grill and never, ever do this. Just flip. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. And you will have a nice tasty burger. Now, I am going to take these burgers out and show you another bonus tip because you hung in there. This is what you get for, for, um, for being a fanboy and girl, a fan person. I don't want to waste this juice and there's a lot of butter in this too. So what do you do when you have a lot of hamburger juice? You stick your buns in it. And this will grill up these two buns. If you don't have buns, that's okay. You don't have to make it with buns. That's not a rule. Although you are camping, so I mean, technically it might be. But just do this. Dry up that delicious juice and butter with your buns. Get that nice and toasty. And turn the heat down. Ooh, that's a little hotter than I thought. Let's check it. Sometimes you'll see a little smoke, and that means it's toasted. Yum. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. You're going to like this. You will. When we throw some mushrooms on this, you will be in love. And, and you're going to like the hamburger, too. So this just, just takes about, you know, probably about two minutes. 
And here we are two minutes later. Let's get our buns out of the fire. Yep, that's toasty. Yum. Oh, that's going to be so good. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to turn the heat off though. Then I'll see you in a minute. So congratulations. Look at what you just made. You just made this delicious onion mushroom burger. You're going to be a hit with the whole campground. Now, if you like this recipe, please visit my website, stepbystepchef.com. There you will find over 175 free printable recipes for delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including this one. But this one will be categorized under cooking and camping with the step-by-step -step chef. This is how we make delicious meals when we're road tripping and camping and having a heck of a time. And this is absolutely delicious. I think you're going to like it. You will also find on the site step-by-step -step instructions on how to camp, just the basics. And then you can make it your own, just like this. You can make all of my dishes your own. So my name's Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I can't wait to eat this.